Hello, my name is Carolina Kilipangi um, and I'm going to talk about uh, tests for phrases for syntax and teaching grammar um, homework from the YouTube video. Okay, let's start. What is a test for phrase? A test for phrase helps to analyze the arrangement of words into phrase and phrases into clauses because it is not always clear how they are connected in a correct way. The test uh, should be appear, uh, ellipses, transportation, substitution, and coordination. What is ellipsis? Elliptical sentences are incomplete clauses that are meaningless and could not stand alone as in a full sentence. But this elliptical sentence could be joined using a conjunction AND uh, with a useful sentence, transforming to a meaningful and complete sentence. Adrian enjoy horror movies and Lucy does too. So as we can see, Adrian enjoy horror movies is a complete and meaningful sentence without uh, needing some other sentence to have sense. And Lucy does too. It, this is our elliptical sentence that need, needs a, another sentence to have sense. And it, it is joined with the conjunction AND. Rules for ellipses. There are some rules uh, we are going to talk about for having this test. First, we can use a form of do to avoid repeating a present or past simple verb. For example, Sandra works at the same company as I do. So we're, uh, here we have works. Uh, this is the verb that we are replacing with do. Marina lives uh, two blocks to where I do. So the verb here is lives. I replace it with do and it is with a complete sense. Uh, we uh, should avoid using the same verb uh, in a coordinate class using to. Using did and to, for example, Danny phoned to the library service and I did too. So we didn't use just did uh, the. And I do. Uh, we just did too. Second, we can replace verbs like expect, think, believe, imagine with so. Avoid repeating preceding information. Like I believe so, I expected so, and for negative answers we have I don't think so. Uh, and I didn't imagine so. So we are um, avoiding to repeat information. So for example, if I said, uh, this is going to be fun playing with our children. And my husband said, I believe so. Because he didn't want to repeat all the information playing with the children all the night, etc. Yeah, that is the use. Three, we can omit a verb to avoid repeating it. For example, novels engaged to adults answers to teenagers. Uh, we can uh, omit this verb engage and the sentence didn't lose the meaning because uh, we can say the verb uh, twice, but it is a lot using the same verb. For example, uh, using engage twice. Novel engage novels engage to adults and series engage to teenagers. So it's not necessary because it, because it is understandable. Violent videos affect emotional system and psychological system stability. So we are avoiding or omitting affect that uh, that is our verb. But we can say about violent videos affect emotional system and affects uh, psychological stability. But it is not necessary because uh, it is understandable. Four, uh, we often omit nouns and pronouns in the second of two coordinating clauses. For example, Joe went to the hospital and visited her mom. So we are avoiding uh, using the the pronoun 
for just because it is not necessary we are not talking about someone else we are talking about just uh, but we don't leave the pronouns in subordinate clauses because it is so necessary to know who are we talking about so for example just went to hospital and visit her mom because she left work early so we need to know who we are talking about number five we can omit an infinitive phrase when the meaning is clear for example even when jared studied a lot to stop failing his exams he hasn't been able uh, so we omit the infinitive phrase which is to stop failing because the meaning is clear we know we are, uh, what we are talking about what is substitution? substitution is when a word or phrase can be substituted by another lexical item that gives the same meaning uh, without affecting the grammatical structure having the same or similar function as the original these lexical items called failure are words such as one, I, one, so, or do. Susie is a beautiful girl. She is eight years old. So we replace Susie with a pronoun and we fill her it, uh, avoiding using the same noun. So it is completely clear. And we are not repeating the same now. Rules for substitution. There are some rules to apply in this test. For example, number one, we can use demonstrative pronouns without uh, one or ones. Which flavors for the pizza would you prefer? Those ones or this? This is more uh, common to see when we are uh, in speech because if we are writing it's not clear because we are not saying wha what we are talking about so but it is understandable that uh, the the person that asked uh, are pointing some flavors and the other person will understand number two we can also replace a noun or a noun phrase with a quantifier like some all each known both either neither a few among others for example all students worked hard but only a few got the point so we are talking about all the students that is a big uh, no, uh, number of, of children uh, and we are need to talk about a lot of them so we use this quantifier to replace the all the students because not all the students can reach the point and we can replace with a, a quantifier number three we coordinate costs where our the action is the same in both we can use so plus auxiliary plus subject for example, Danny fell asleep at the middle of the movie and so did I. So uh, for not repeating uh, that I fell asleep uh, in the middle of the movie, I just say uh, so did I. And we are avoiding to repeat a lot of information that is not necessary. Uh, Sandy didn't like to study for exams, neither did James. So for negative, we use uh, so. Uh, no, we uh, use uh, the neither, that is the negative, for the uh, then the auxiliary and the subject. We didn't uh, use so because we are talking about something negative. Number four, we can use uh, three words, so it that to replace a verb phrase which describe a single specific action. Uh, using so is more informal. Maybe it works for uh, for speech. Anna is stood up to leave, and just as she was doing it, she slipped and fell down. 
So uh, the action, uh, the verb phrase is stood up to live. So we replace it with it, with the pronoun it, and it is completely understandable. And we are not repeating a lot of information that is not necessary again. Number five, we prefer to use do so when we talk about an activity rather than a single specific action. People who used to get drunk in public places were banned from doing so. So we are not talking about only for a verb that uh, talks about an action. We're talking an activity that is, is more complex or more um, meaningful. Uh, so we replace it with do and so. Uh, in this case, uh, we transform the, the verb, the auxiliary verb for doing so. Next, uh, Vivi told me not to forget her post for the presentation, but I did. So this did uh, also replace not to forget, and it is completely understandable. What is transposition? Transposition is the, the displays of a phrase to another position, where another grammatical function is assigned. These movements could transform active clauses into passive. These transpositions are also uh, known as movements. For example, Vera built a princess castle. For transforming this, uh, we move a verb build to the, the complement, and we have the passive voice that is a princess castle were built by Vera. It's not complicated. What is a coordination? Coordination is a grammatical linking of two or more phrases or clauses belong to the same category. It is a very flexible mechanism of syntax that allows that any given two or more logical phrasal or clausal categories to be conjoined. The coordination is nothing more than the use of coordination conjunction and, but, or, correlative conjunctions, both and, either or, neither nor, not but, not only, but also. And conjunctive uh, ad adverbs, however, nevertheless, therefore, moreover, even though, etc. Examples. Conjoined nouns and noun phrase. Pedro and Nancy went to the cinema last night. So Pedro uh, and Nancy are nouns and they are uh, connected with and, the conjunction and. Some parents and all children came to the Christmas program. So there are the noun phrases, some parents and all children that are connected with the conjunction and. Conjoining verbs. I sang and laughed with my friends all night. So sang and laughed are connected with the conjunction and. Isa can read and write at her only five years old. So read and write are the uh, verbs that are connected with the conjunction and. Conjoined sentence. I cleaned the house and my husband cooked the dinner. So these uh, are two sentences, two, uh, two complete sentences that can stand alone, but are connected with the conjunction and, and they, they can have a sense uh, by themselves. For example, I clean the house is a complete sentence that can stand alone, and my husband cooked the dinner is also a complete idea, but they are joined with the conjunction and. Annie see a movie and Danny played a video game. So there is the same. We have two uh, complete sentences, complete ideas that can stand alone. Annie see a movie and it is completely understandable. Danny play video games. It is completely understandable, but they are joined with uh, the conjunction and. So thank you very much. And there are the references. Thank you.